Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. There's no welcome back. Oh, I'm fucking up. Okay. Welcome to my channel. This is Shamoral Nicole. Um, this is a sneaker review channel, and I will also be doing, um, you know, sneaker on feats um, and what have you. And whatever sneaker I like to buy, that's normally, you know, I, what I buy. I really don't try to follow any trends or anything. I just, uh, I go with the flow. If I like it, I like it. And if it's in a decent price range, I will, I will definitely buy it. All right, so today, um, and thank you for tuning in. Today, um, for my first boot of the fall that I bought this year, because it was on sale at the, uh, the Nike, uh, the Timberland outlets for 64 bucks, and I cannot pass up on that. <laughs> I actually wanted the uh, Timberland field boot, um, beef and broccolis, but I couldn't find any. So anybody, you know, I mean, I couldn't find any in my size. Um, and I really, I normally wear a kid size, grade school, about size seven all the time, every shoe. Um, in a men's size, I can wear a seven. I actually got a couple of men's shoes. Um, they're size seven, but they're, um, men's shoes tend to run, run a little wider on my foot and I have like a narrow foot. So, um, so I normally just go with the kids' gray school sizes, but this was a size that I couldn't pass up in a, in a women's size that I normally don't even buy women's shoes. <laughs> Like, I'm just a tomboy or heart, heart or whatever. Uh, but I normally don't buy women's shoes. So uh, when I saw this woman's shoe at the outlet, I just had to get it for 60 bucks, okay? So what we're talking about here is this is a, a Euro Hiker Beef and Broccoli. I call it the Beef and Broccoli. I don't know what you guys call it. I mean, comment down below. I don't know what you guys call it. But I call it the Beef and Broccoli. And um, yeah, let's get to a review of this right quick. Okay, so you got... The brown stripe at the bottom and then a green olive stripe just sitting above that then you have a and i wore these already i mean i wore them before you can see the creasing right there uh not too bad of a crease but you can see it. uh the rubber there's like a rubber little i don't know what you call it panel thing going around the shoe right here and that's got like a little roughness to it right there you can actually see it right there and then you have the stitching going around the shoe which i think is pretty dope going around the shoe stitching going around and then you have this timberland logo right there like stitched in black that's dope as well okay so so the shoe color is like a it's a suede brownish suede, olive, um, and then like oily. I think oily kind of suede to me. That's what it looks like. But it's kind of dope because you don't really see this kind of brown on a boot all the time. Because mostly you just see people wearing a bunch of uh, wheat Tims and you don't really get to see, unless it's on the beef and broccolis, you don't get to see a lot of this color on a boot. <clears throat> so I think it's kind of dope. And that's why I was like, I wanted to get the field Timberland books <laughs> and I really still want them. But I might just, cause I might just like, you know, rock these for the, the fall time. And then like next year, just get me some field Timberland beef and broccoli then. That's what I might do. Okay. Cause I think I'm still get the wheat construction Tims. <laughs> but anyway, um, back to it. Uh, olive going around the shoe right there in the back on the heel. Then you have on the tongue, Timberland stitch on the tongue, the Timberland logo just above the Timberland stitching, and the tongue is green in itself. And then you got the shoelaces, which are a brown color. The brown has some green intertwining into the shoe string. I'm trying to get it focused. You, you can't really see it, but you can tell a little bit. Has some little green hints of brown, uh, green hints inside the brown shoelace. Now these eyelets right here, like I call them belt buckles. I mean, they look like belt buckles. <laughs> I'm just saying, they just look like belt buckles to me. All right, and, um, and then on the inside, you have, let's see, the 
Timberland logo in white. And then you on the back, you have another Timberland symbol stitched into the tongue on the back. All right. So, you know, it's not the best. You know, I don't prefer Hewer Hikers. I mean, like I said, it was on sale at the outlet and I just had to grab it because it was $64. And I love a good shoe sale. So I don't prefer Hewer Hikers. I more prefer the field boots over the hikers. Um, but like I said, these were a good deal for me to cop. And I caught them. And, you, and I even got this Timberland bag. I don't even know what I'm holding on to. I, I just, I think it's, it's, a nice, it's a nice looking bag. So, um, if anybody want to go and cop a pair of these boots for the winter or the fall, they're really good with keeping your feet warm. Uh, aesthetically pleasing. I mean, they look good on feet. Which I'm about to do in a minute. I'm about to do on feet for you guys. But, um, but yeah, if anybody want to go cop a pair of these uh, Timberland Euro Hikers, uh, they on sale. I don't know if they're going to, you know, I don't know if they still on sale, but I think you still cop them for a decent price. But in the women's, they are literally a steal in women's if you wear a women's size type of boot or shoe. They are really a steal right now. And then you got the bottom with the Timberland logo right there. I'm sorry, I didn't even get it and the little ridges on the bottom. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do on feet for you guys. And then if you like my video, my review, please press the like button down below. Comment down below, uh, what's your favorite boot to wear during the winter or the fall time? And yeah, hit the notification button and I'll be doing reviews. Uh, well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but right now we're gonna get on this on feet and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.